Thank you. Uh, last time the North Atlantic Council visited Georgia, uh, three years ago, we launched uh, the NATO uh, Georgia Commission as a way of uh, building our partnership. Today, that partnership is vigorous and it is vibrant, based on political dialogue, shared security concerns and practical cooperation. Our visit today and tomorrow will make that partnership even stronger. It will move us closer towards Georgia's ambition of joining the alliance. It is a unique opportunity to assess how far we have come in deepening our partnership and to identify priorities for further work. Our meeting this afternoon was dedicated to the domestic reforms that Georgia has undertaken. You have taken significant steps in promoting freedom of expression and economic growth, fighting corruption, and ensuring that the military is properly sized and structured. You have achieved a lot. Georgia is on the right track. And you have come a long way. But you have not yet reached your destination. Georgians want to live in a full, mature, modern democracy. Our message today is keep up the momentum. Keep strengthening your democracy. Keep building the pillars of a free and democratic state, the rule of law, the freedom of the judiciary and the media, the fight against corruption, the involvement of civil society. In particular, keep the momentum in electoral reform. The elections in 2012 and 2013 will be a litmus test of your democracy. And we look forward to seeing the necessary reforms introduced. Let me be clear. NATO and Georgia are already close partners. You are the second largest non-NATO contributor to our operation in Afghanistan. That is a priceless contribution and the best proof of your commitment to our alliance. NATO fully supports your reforms. We fully support your aspirations to join our alliance. We agreed in Bucharest in 2008 that you will join our alliance and that decision stands. And we fully support your sovereignty and territorial integrity within your internationally recognized borders. We welcome your commitment to nonviolence and your engagement policy with those regions. And let me take this opportunity today to congratulate Georgia on the WTO agreement with Russia. It is an important agreement. A Russian membership of the World Trade Organization will enhance uh, free trade in line with our ambition to engage Russia in a constructive economic, political and security cooperation. We welcome that the Swiss mediated uh, agreement will allow the presence of international uh, monitors along Georgia's internationally recognized borders. And um, I commend the Georgian and Russian authorities for their constructive uh, approach, uh, which has made this agreement possible. That pragmatism confirms our confidence in Georgia. Georgia is important for NATO, and I know that NATO is important for Georgia. We are already close, and we want to move even closer. 